All right, guys. This is coffee, and I'm gonna be honest with you. For the rest of the month, I'm gonna answer the rest of the questions that I have. I'm not gonna be able to take any more new questions that I will answer on video. What I will do though, is I will reply to your comments in time and or they can be topics for live streams. So if you have a question, definitely feel free to ask your question down below and maybe it'll be become a live stream topic early for next year. Get ready. Hey yo, this is Dash and I am saying <laughs> hey yo, cause my next question, my next comment comes from Steven from Cooking with Steven and Jacqueline. Thank you, Steven, as always, for what you do for the barbecue community, for the cooking community. Steven is a absolute rock star when it comes to live streams, when it comes to his own channel. If you do not know about Steven's channel, check it out up there. Steven and Jacqueline, they are doing big things down in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, do yourself a favor and check them out. So Steven goes on to say, hey, yo, Dash. What up, Steven? Hey, Jacqueline, tell buddy I say hey, too. He says, I'm digging the two camera setup. Okay, quick question, and um, sorry, let me address the elephant in the room. The two camera setup is a pain for what I'm doing. Having two cameras set up and having to edit film, edit, having to edit footage from two cameras on a daily basis on videos that are seven to 10 to 15 minutes long was a bear. I did it for a week and a half and I would have loved to continue to, to do those videos with two cameras or to the two camera setup, but I'm pressed for time and using or an edit, filming the two cameras is, is not too bad, but the editing process, editing two cameras, it triples my workflow triples my workflow because I have to sit and watch the footage and choose video one or excuse me camera one or camera two and then I have to go and then I have to edit that and the editing so anyway it's a lot more work and I'm not afraid of the work I just didn't budget I didn't have the time set aside for all of the work that's necessary so I had to go back to the one camera I apologize those of you guys who are really digging a two camera setup, I'm so sorry that I had to go back to one, but I guarantee you, I promise you, that learning experience has taught me what I need to do moving forward. All right? Anyway, so Steven's follow on question again after talking about the cameras. He says, okay, here's the question. How do you deal with those customers that insist that they still have to have their catering done by you? Example, when you get that call from that person and you're like, damn. <sighs> Steven, I have one of those people. And here's the thing. The most difficult customers are gonna most of the time, more often than not be some of the most loyal customers. This woman, the first time I did an event for her, she contacted me at or around Thanksgiving for a Valentine's Day event. It was, it might have even been before, like it could have been October, she contacted me to book me for an event that was happening in on Valentine's Day and it was months, months in advance. I don't need that much advance notice. But the only, the good thing that she booked me in advance or so far in advance, I was able to push out and book that day for her. But other than that, I don't need that far out notice. I mean, a week, two weeks, all the notice I need, really. With that being said, not only did she book me like six months in advance, we talked almost on a monthly basis. And if we weren't talking on a monthly basis, she was calling me 
or just like touching base to send me a text message to make sure that the date was still good. Then we started talking about the food that she wanted and she kept going back and forth on what she wanted versus what I offered. I don't cook that. I don't offer that. But she insisted, insisted that I, oh, you can do this. I'm sure you could do this. Is there any way where you could try this? Can you test out and try this for me and figure out how to do it for me? I'm like, you know what, in the end, you're paying me, sure. But I say that she has been one of my most difficult customers. She's also one of the most loyal customers. She will go to bat for my prices. She will go to bat for my, not my cost, but she will go to bat this, this past. So this is just after Thanksgiving. We're talking now for Thanksgiving. I delivered a brisket for her. The current cost of brisket is so high and she wanted brisket so badly her friends her event that she was having this food for was like a potluck but everybody chipped in and took a piece of the pie the the, the pot to pay for the food items okay so it wasn't like a potluck where everyone brought a dish it was a potluck where everyone contributed a certain amount of money and then it was like a dinner to help some less fortunate people so she her contribution was to have brisket for me well, she knew that she could only have a max of, of this dollar amount. So she paid the other half, the other half of the dollar amount so that she could have some brisket. Now she's like, I'm taking some brisket for me, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, man, sometimes those, those, those annoying customers, those, those, those tough customers to deal with can and will be your best customers. And you never know which your customer is going to be when you make that initial meeting to have that initial conversation. And you know, I swear to you, I swear to you over the years, she's gotten better, but it is not, it is not as, as simple as somebody calling me and saying, Hey, I need food on this day. All right, no problem. Pay your invoice. I'll see you on that day. We, whenever I do an event for her, I always hear from her multiple times multiple times but guess what i know that comes with the territory and it is what it is so thank you sir for asking such a great question and that was blah, 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 you know me you know i do anyway again if you have not and do not already know who steven is check out his channel you will not be disappointed thank you guys so very much as always again for watching thank you for your comments your suggestions and um all of those things down below thank you thank you thank you happy new year we're almost at the end of the month I'll see you guys next time. Well, bye, baby. <laughs>